Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Sound Live. How y'all doing today? And with me today, I have a lovely special guest wearing that curly hair today. Welcome, everyone, Sarah Olsen. There you are. Have a special message for the Olympus on the board today. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It says, "A copy, mana, copy, a copy, mana, copy." All right, let's move on to Dimash here. This is yeah. the crowd pick. Without <laughs> further ado, Matthew and Sarah react to. Dimash Kudaibergen, Love is Like a Dream, live from the Slavic Bazaar 2021. This is the crowd pick. Here we go.
Sarah, what do you think, girl? What do you think? I think it's very performative, right? Like, what I say, it seems like he does that effortlessly. Like, you know what I'm saying, right? It seems like he puts, like, he's, he, he's like drinking water. Like, I sink perfectly, like, drinking water. I don't care. Like, I can do this. Holding a car on the top of my head. You know what I'm saying, right? So, when the the music gets heavier and stuff, it seems like more emotions, but of course, the whole thing, the whole vibe changes. So the scenario is very pretty. I am very visual, and you know that. Like mm -hmm. the piano thing in there for a second it got me fooled, but because I thought it was like literally someone, and then I was like, no, 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 that can't be a person for real. But um, I love that. I love the whole scenario, the vibes, the the lights dancing along the song and uh, vibing along the the music. I I think he's very much of a theatrical person i don't know if you like get that vibe but mm -hmm. he he feel it feels like he's very theatrical mm -hmm. like he, i could see him on, on 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 broadway like let's say put it in that that way mm -hmm. um and i love his voice i just think he sings i see a lot of emotion <laughs> even though he does it effortlessly so for me it's very much like I feel like he's feeling the song while he's singing and he's vibing, like performing for it, like very theatrical. So I love it. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I really enjoyed it too. The whole the whole performance, you know. The, and at the beginning, he he starts so low, so like, low, like it was almost like a growl. It was so low. Yeah. And I mean, so you know, good. as a baritone singer. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I could maybe growl that low, but I don't know mm -hmm. if it would be in pitch in that musical. I mean, like, he yeah. was, even on his lowest note, he was in tune. And, you know, like, it's crucial that your lowest yeah. notes are in tune. Like, that is yeah, so that is crucial. <laughs> and it's not necessarily it's so easy. Hard. And it, it didn't sound weak. You know, like, a lot of times at the, the very bottom of somebody's register, right, it yeah, feels weak and, fading. like... <laughs> like grainy and like not that great um mm -hmm. i don't know i i was told to watch this version specifically shout out deborah just said something about another version uh it specifically said to watch the 2021 so you can hear him like now so that's why yeah. i picked that one i mean like i'm sure i'm sure it was gorgeous um you know no matter um you know when. what i'm saying <laughs> right yeah, yeah like like totally. Um, so, anyway, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll do it again at some point. I don't know. But um, that was that, the main thing I need to do is make sure I get all of your comments out before um before you gotta go because I know you only got like a few minutes here. I just like the way that the, the, he performs. Like um, I'm a fan of uh when I was a younger when I was younger I, I was very much of a fan of glee so mm -hmm. i love this kind of thing you know mm -hmm. so everything he does for me is very similar to what those people do when they are performing that way mm -hmm. and for me it makes sense because he's he's singing and his voice and the way that he sings the songs it's not for everybody's taste you know what i'm saying right like it's not pop music that is going to play on the radio like that because people really like to see this kind of thing because it's very theatrical so the way that he does everything for me is very important because he is making like something out of it mm -hmm. he's not just singing he's doing a whole pack kind of thing because if he was just singing it's very specific the niche of people that you can hit with with this type of music like i said before not everybody likes perfectly singing songs some people like very heavy metal songs, screaming songs, or any any kind of different songs. Like they are very specific, mm -hmm. but his niche is very Broadway theatrical style, and is very much it's much more specific. So I think he does it. He does an amazing job putting out in the way that he does. You know, I think that's it. Right on, Sarah. Um, and I just I think he's just an incredible singer. I love the amazing. songs that he's singing. The one. There was like a false buildup. He was like, <gasps> and then yeah. and silence. And, he's like, <laughs> and I was, oh, <laughs> man. 
that was <laughs> such a moment because he made it look like it was going to be this big giant like fortissimo like sforzando yeah. all at once smack you and it didn't it was like oh. yeah. <laughs> and I mean like I, I say this again like probably the most impressive thing to me about Dimash is that he like literally that one we did last time Olimpico that's literally I said it sounded like a duet it literally is a duet yeah. Is he's literally oh. singing both the male and female parts of a duet written for him to sing both parts. Like it's like the god and the goddess part, I guess. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Like he is not lacking any of the male range or any of the female range. He's not lacking yeah. any of the male tone or any of the female tone. And, you know, he brings both energies to the stage in balance throughout the show. And sometimes it's more yin and sometimes it's more yang. But by the end, you just left like, wow, this guy yeah, has definitely. everything. He's the whole perfect yeah. total package of a singer. Like, damn singer. Yes. <laughs> okay. He's definitely a full pack. So I guess there's another version that's on his page that has a better sound. Oh, I don't know. I just searched for it. I was in a hurry. I apologize, guys. <laughs> I'm still tripping here. I don't know if I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you texted me and you said, oh, I got to go by a certain time. <laughs> you, by me. This was like, I'm tripping. I'm like, wow. I'm traveling time here. <laughs> Yeah, it's really nice. It was really good. And I just, I I love when, you know, and when they kicked it in, the whole band, it built so nice, but it, it was never overpowering. Like, you know what I mean? It was just. It was so uh, good. Right time and everything. Mm. Like, it, it felt like right when the, the band came. It was like, hmm, that moment. Right. Thank you for having me today. And thank you for everybody on the chat. Thank you for everybody who's subscribing and listening to my songs. I truly, appreci I truly appreciate every single one of you. And I just wanted to send some love and gratitude. So stay tuned on Matt's channel. Subscribe and don't forget to smash the like button. <laughs> and subscribe to Sarah too. Thank you so much yeah. for being here with me today. And make sure that you are on schedule, my friend. Bye. Bye. Bye.